neutral side action, and we're just about set to kick off. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. He might not be able to get the pass off. End zone, touchdown. Folks, that's the end of quarter number one, and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far. The Black Knights with a touchdown lead. It's up seven. Tries to get around the corner. Got an opening. The 10. He goes down at the one. It was a great call and an even better run. Give this guy some space, and he has one tough back to stop. So they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstring on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Throws left. The running back's got it. They fall out. You love to see your playmakers on defense coming through and creating some breaks, which is exactly what the safety did. Down Black Knights. And that's his second touchdown of the day. This guy has great vision out of the backfield. Even if a hole isn't there, he's patient enough to wait for Do it for the first half, and they're just trying to keep this thing close. The Black Knights with a three touchdown advantage. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Not that we're rooting one way or the other for this game to come out with either team winning, but what a treat it is to see the maturity and the discipline and the focus of this squad to come out and perform to the level that they have. Yeah, because it's not something that, that we can always put our finger on. You know, we sometimes people come out flat and you talk to coaches and coaches are like, we had them ready to play. We Everything was just like we thought it was and just like it was normally. We had a great week of practice. How many times do you hear that? But sometimes it doesn't translate. So it's good to see a team that's mature enough, that comes out, takes care of business, leaves no doubt, wipes away the opponent's hope in the first half, come out the second half, get some PT for the younger guys, the backups. You sit on the bench, chill out a little bit. You can even take a peek at the cheerleaders sometimes during timeouts. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. You'll get it again. He's been a force getting to pay dirt three times. Power the head coach of this football team. Under three. The Black Knights lead 28-0. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown! Big play! White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. Where was the coverage there? There wasn't anybody near him at all. Just a total lack of competition today. Army, 35, Navy, nothing. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Well, this rivalry game didn't live up to the hype this year. There's pure gratification on one sideline and sheer disappointment on the other. You can bet that the loser in this one will have this date marked in red on their calendar for next year.
That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.